This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a hydraulic floor jack. This happens to be a Pittsburgh automotive jack. They're very common. They're all aluminum. Uh, this particular one is a model uh, 68051 and the 68053 is the same jack. Now when you first get your jack or even afterwards sometimes you can build air in the system and it needs to be bled. So today we're going to check that out and then bleed it just to make sure we don't have any air in the jack. First thing we need to do is rotate the handle counterclockwise that will open up the valve. Now on this particular jack our fill screw is this one right here. We want to remove that. And the next thing we want to do is we want to pump the handle. Just like that. And if there's any air, that should bleed it. Now on this one right here we're going to make sure that we're topped off on our hydraulic oil. So we need to remove this screw right here also. And we're going to put our jack oil in the fill screw right there all the way up to the top. Take it easy. It's almost full. Make sure you don't lose the gasket. Let's give it one more pump here. Alright. That's good enough. Put our screws back in place. Okay, that's it. That's it. You should work fine now. Let me back the camera up and we'll check it out. All right, let's close the valve here. Okay. That's it. Let's try that one more time. All the way up. 
I think it's like 18 and a half inches total height on this jack. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to bleeding and filling your hydraulic floor jack.